Craters of the Moon National Monument in southern Idaho. This uh, really exceptional landscape of volcanoes and their vents and lava flows was set aside in 1924 by President Calvin Coolidge to preserve the real unique landscapes and features that we find here. Craters of the Moon sits in the Snake River Plain of southern Idaho, this uh, interesting and somewhat anomalous track of uh, volcanoes that have erupted over the past 10 or so million years. And the most recent eruption took place here at Craters of the Moon, uh, where there was eight separate eruptive events over the last 15,000 years. The most recent volcanic activity here at Craters of the Moon took place about 2,000 years ago. And mainly the volcanic activity here at Craters of the Moon had consisted of uh, very runny lava flows, the kind of lava flows you would see in Hawaii or Iceland, erupting this dark rock called basalt. I'm here in the winter time, which is a really cool time to come to Craters of the Moon. It's a very unique landscape at that time. Of course, a lot of the lava flows and some of the features you'd normally see in the summertime are covered with snow, but it's really a, a special time to come investigate this unique landscape. The feature I want to point out today with this video uh, is this kind of neat uh, block of rock behind me here. Uh, this is all basalt that erupted from one of the local volcanoes. Uh, and you can see it's upwards of uh, maybe 15 to 20 feet tall in places. And this is what we call a rafted block. This was actually a piece of the cinder cones. If we look over here towards the, towards the west, you can see this sort of cone-shaped hill or mountain here. This is Paisley Cone. This is one of several uh, cinder cones. You can see another one there in the distance. That's Inferno Cone. But there's several of these clustered cinder cone volcanoes right here around the northern part of the monument. And these cinder cones erupted as sort of uh, clots of lava getting thrown into the air. So rather than just forming lava flows on the surface, there was enough gas content in the lava to erupt the material into the air. And that stuff all fell around the vent uh, to form cinder cones. So it actually accumulated around the vent to form these cool uh, hills we see here. Usually later in the evolution of a cinder cone, uh, you can get lava flows that kind of break out the base of the cone. And when that happens, as the lava flows come out the base of the cinder cone, they'll tend to take a chunk of the lava of the cinder cone and carry it with the lava flow. And that's what these rafted blocks are. These are pieces of the cinder cone. They were carried out on the back of the lava flow, in some cases miles from the actual vent and the cone from where they originated. So as you look at this a little bit more closely, you can see uh, this reddish oxidized basalt but you can see how it looks like just clumps of lava there's lots of holes in it it's quite porous um, and these are just clumps of this kind of sticky lava what we call spatter that's fallen down around uh, the cinder cone and stuck together almost think of it like a wet sticky paper towel and they all just kind of get piled on top of each other and ultimately coalesce together. So again, these are these uh, rafted blocks um, sitting out on the lava flow. Of course, the lava flow surface is covered in about 15 inches of snow. So you can't see that right now. If we kind of hike up this hill here to the saddle, we can see a few more of these rafted blocks out in this area here. This is an area of the park called uh, Devil's Orchard. Uh, so you have these big kind of blocks. There's actually quite a large rafted block over there that's maybe about 30 feet tall. But these are all uh, parts of the area cinder cones that were uh, carried away on the backs of the lava flow during one of these eruptions here at Craters of the Moon National Monument in Southern Idaho.